Okay, hello everybody on YouTube. Yep, I am finally able to make at least one certain video that I have been daunting to make for a long, long time. Now, for those of you who don't know, I haven't been making any form of content or anything at all. And it has been probably one of the craziest weeks, especially for last week. Last week was just batshit insane with a bunch of crap that I had to deal with. But I'll explain all that and much more right now because I know that a lot of people were a bit disconcerned about the idea that I basically was not making any form of content or anything at all on YouTube. And I haven't been discussing anything at all with anybody. Like the amount of stuff that when it, when it comes to like anything that involves me, IRL is usually not involved online, but because of the fact that it is affecting both my channel, my YouTube, everything else included, I did have to go ahead and just make this video. Like I really needed to because I started to notice that, hey, there were a lot of people who were still trying to support me here and there. And quite frankly, I cannot owe more than enough to them as it is. And to all of you, especially because of the fact that I know I can make content. I I know I can make videos. I know that I'm really good at some of the stuff that I'm able to pull off. But the thing is, is that the only thing that goes against me is literally time and financial situations. Like I wish that I was making this up. I wish that I wasn't basically lying to everybody transparently all the fucking time. It was starting to get to a point where it was becoming very unhealthy. Just to answer the next question off the bat. Yes, I had to wear a freaking cap because of the fact that my hair is basically going all over the place. It's starting to look really fucking cool, but at the same time, it's starting to get really annoying. Now, despite that, I do need to discuss a lot of the issues that have been going on in my life here at this apartment. So to clarify the apartment and to clarify how I'm surviving, I am basically on the edge here when it comes to anything financial like it is absolutely fucking daunting how I managed to survive in this apartment for three to four weeks just on one rent alone. What happened for the past couple of days, and I probably should have mentioned this a little bit earlier, I didn't want to because I found it unnecessary. I left my first job that I got here, which was actually paying me a decent sum. It was actually about $16 an hour. And I had to pretty much leave because of the fact that it was starting to cripple me both mentally, health-wise, and I couldn't get any form of contact at all with any of my management or my bosses or anything else like literally i was only able to contact my boss once or twice max for the whole entire month and a half that i've been working there the dude was like literally like trying to find a goddamn leprechaun sitting on a fucking pot of gold at the end of a goddamn rainbow I had no idea where this guy was for a majority period of time. He was always busy and I needed to get serious questions resolved because it had a lot of stuff to do with um, the scheduling, all the random schedule changes and all this other stuff that was starting to really daunt on me. It got to a point where I was working from all the way from 6 a.m. straight up all the way till like five or six in the afternoon. And it wasn't because of the fact that they weren't giving at least some of us some breaks. But the thing that was annoying me was that, dude, I'm here basically from six all the way to five. I only have like a two to three hour break in between where I have to come back into my apartment. For those of you who might be guessing, like, did I at least manage to get some recording done? No. I couldn't do any of that. By the time I was done and out of the job, which went from six all the way to nine to 10, up sometimes all the way up to 11, we all were basically exhausted, like, cause we're constantly working. And the thing that was bothering me is that it was getting to a point where I couldn't take that anymore. Like it was causing me to just show up at my apartment, fall asleep, and then go back straight to work. And then by the time I'm out of work, I wanted to pass out again. That was the most horrendous times that I've ever could have had at a job. Because of the fact that, again, like there, there was basically no form of personal lifetime that you ever had in that kind of position. Like it was really bad. I would have preferred to just work a full straight eight to 10 hours. And then the day's done. I can probably pass out for like an hour. And then throughout the rest of the day, I could have had a bunch of stuff going and getting stuff done. That to me sounds like a dream job. And most jobs would have actually preferred that because you're constantly working on the clock. Ironically, these guys did not want that. They wanted you to basically take a huge average break between, which you obviously don't get those hours paid because you're obviously on, you're, you're out of the clock. You, you 
you don't have any way to basically be clocked in while taking a break, which is fine to me because it makes sense. But the thing is, is that, yeah, after all the frustration that I had at that position and everything else that came with it, like all the daunting stuff that was starting to slowly etch my mind, I just couldn't take it anymore. I straight up just said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, screw this job, screw everything else about it. The thing that was pretty cool was that after I left, a lot of people were a bit concerned. Like, well, what happened? Did you actually manage to find another job? Yes, I did for about two weeks to a month. But despite all that, I mean, I did enjoy working at Papa John's as a delivery driver. That was fun as hell. But again, I told myself 750 an hour, this apartment costs 600. Then on top of that, my electrical bill is pretty much sneaking up, up right up my ass. I ended up uh, realizing like, okay, so we had 600 for that. Then on top of that, we had like a total of nearly 120 to 150 dollars worth of electricity for a month and a half. And my internet bill is about 55 before I ended up finding a way to cut it down to at least 20. Still is 20 bucks. So in total, without me even needing to do much of a calculation, 600 plus around 120 to 150, that's already $750. And then the internet itself is like an extra 20. That's a total of 770 bucks. I should be fucking dead. Because not only did I pretty much uh, after like after Papa John's, I ended up getting a different job. I ended up working at a certain gas station. I'm not going to say where I'm not going to say what the company is, but everyone there is so goddamn chill. Like that place is prop like it's weird. If you all want to experience like a really chill location, work at a gas station. It is probably one of the best type of starting jobs you can have just for the sake of having it. Especially if you're very young, go for it. It's insanely chill for the most part. Unless you have like a gas station where everybody's going towards, I would probably not recommend one like that. But if you have one that's like in the mid of your town or whatever, work in that. Trust me, just do it. It is worth every single bit of time and money just to go in there and just have like whatever shits and goos you have while being a sales associate or even better if you're a restaurant team member even better but the thing is is that after i ended up being in that gas station for a bit i thought about it i was like okay 950 an hour i did upgrade from 725 an hour and then to up to 950 and now i have a 17 dollars per hour job some of you may be wondering how the fuck that happened because there are people out there who would beg for that kind of money bank to be able to work somewhere for that much. So I can't tell you where I'm working. I can't even tell you the position I have. I don't find it comfortable explaining all that to everybody online, but I can tell you how I managed to do that. I worked at Papa John's as a delivery driver for about a month. This gas station job that I have now at the moment before I start recruit, uh, because well, before I start training into this job with paid training for $17 an hour, I won't be able to do that until the 23rd of October, which is fine. Like again, I'm just more shocked that I ended up being able to get this job because I had to basically pull a lot of strings. I had to look through a lot of online stuff and I had to figure out like certain lengths and weaknesses that I had to go through, how to like basically talk to my to the management and everything else to get me in. It was a bit stressful at first, but and I know for a fact that there's probably going to be a few bumps here and there on that job, but it's nothing I'm not going to be able to pass through. It's it's all basically a bunch of just accountability and account tracking and a bunch of other stuff. Like it's so much math and everything else involved with it, but whatever. That's that's not a real big deal for me. I've dealt with much much worse. This job that I'm currently going to have won't start until October the 23rd when it comes to training. And then on top of that, it's like six to seven weeks of training, which is freaking awesome. The other thing is, is that yes, like when it comes to my financial situations, the way I upgraded from 725 from a delivery driver to 950 as a gas station worker, which they had to pay me the 950 because I'm I'm actually a restaurant worker there. So being able to learn how to cook the food there and so on is actually something that's very beneficial for me. And when I ended up getting the $17 per hour job, I honestly just looked at it and I almost shit a fucking brick because I did not even think I was going to be able to get past the hiring position, to be honest, because as soon as I walked in there for the interviews, I was a, a slightly a bit nervous. I only had like one or two hours of sleep because of all the stuff that I had to do the day prior. I still managed to get the job again. Amazing. But the reason I was able to get this job is because I shortened my resume down. I've already had a huge like it may not seem like it. Like I look like your average fucking weird ass looking guy. Not even going to deny that. Like, yeah, sometimes I look weird. I don't really give a shit. But the thing is, is that I'm still able to accomplish things in life regardless. Like it, it's actually crazy how much work 
I've managed to put for myself and to a certain extent others. Yeah, I just kept pressing on as hard as I could, managed to find a better job in less than a month and one week in, like barely before even a month and a half before even my next apartment rent schedule came in. So I found that to be pretty badass in, in general. So it was an overall win for me. So financial wise, I'm safe. If you all are wondering about that, I'm completely safe. Do not worry about that whatsoever. What you all should be worrying about is if I'm able to continue on making content or anything else on YouTube. That is pretty much the main premise of this entire video. The answer is yes. I mean, yeah, I've been through some weird shit online already since like last week, but it's not bothering me. I really don't give a shit. Like, why would it? I've learned on the internet to just not give any form of attention to any form of negative stat or anything that happens. If shit happens, that shit happens. If you want to be that way, you could be that way. I mean, if you want to be like an asshole, you could be an asshole. If you want to be like a good person, you can. Like, there's ways to go around it without needing to do anything or self-harm or harm to others. But anyways, regardless of that, I do have to actually discuss another thing that was happening with me on Twitch because this is actually a big deal and I understand that people were wondering if I was actually still working on a couple of things on Twitch. A lot of the stuff that's on Twitch, I'm basically going to have to revamp the whole fucking thing. Not just one little segment. No, we. I mean the whole fucking thing needs to be revamped. Like there's a lot of reworks that I need to do both on Twitch, YouTube other platforms i've recently made a TikTok, and i've even recently made a link tree all of that is going to be down in the description below so if you're trying to keep track of me for whatever reason you can pretty much find me on whatever platform or anything but it's mostly good. like i keep telling people if you're trying to reach out to me or whatever reason for any reason at all it's going to mainly be discord don't be shy to ask me questions or anything else like i actually don't mind answering them. I do usually answer them through personal DMs if it's resulting in something like RL kind of basis or whatever, but I am not gonna answer like any questions that are just straight up unorthodox and completely random that have nothing to do with anything. Probably still answer them for shits and giggles just to get a rise out of people. Not in a bad way though. But the thing is, is that yeah, like when it comes to everything that I've been doing, both financial, like apartment wise, all these other platforms that I've been trying to basically correlate and work with. It is possible for me to do everything. And I understand that I've been putting everybody on a huge, huge wait time on a lot of my videos. For fuck's sakes, my SCP walkthrough is not even done. And that one was fucking ages old at this point. Like that is in the past need to finish to bring it up to the future kind of thing. Either way, I'm still working on a bunch of other stuff. I'm still working on some more emotes, more video edits, a bunch of more stuff that it requires a lot of background work. And it is absolutely fucking hectic. Even one of my animations that I'm still working on in, well, technically two of them, I actually was working on in a live stream. I even had a buddy who decided to knock on my door. He decided to come in during my live stream. So I had to work around that. And the thing was, is that I did not mean to intentionally leave my video cam on that day, by the way. I Don't worry, I wasn't walking around naked or anything. It's just that he was kind of curious about everything else I was doing. I mean, it's only fair to him as well that, I mean, okay, to understand how much of a busy man I am, not even the guy that told me about this apartment that's a friend of mine, even he barely could catch me on certain times. That's how busy I've been. And we live in the same apartment complex. Let that sink in he only lives like a few maybe 600 feet that way and he barely could catch me when it comes to time or any time that i have let that sink in so if that doesn't tell you how much of a busy motherfucker i can be i don't know what the hell will and for anybody wondering if i still have previous footage of other games reviews and everything else i still do i just never took the time to edit them for anybody who doesn't know video editing takes a long fucking time there are people who have to video edit just one thing for like a whole week that is a total of beyond like around 96 to 98 hours on just one video. And that's if the person's doing constantly video editing with no breaks. If that doesn't sum up how hard some of this stuff can be, I don't know what does. But anyways, despite me saying all that, I'm not angry at anything or anyone. Like I, I just choose not to be. Like life's treating me so goddamn well when it comes to stuff that I have to deal with in RL and it's actually treating me to a point where 
I feel like I don't deserve it. It's like, cause usually this kind of luck does not happen all the time for me. It, it really doesn't. But ever since I went into the city for the past month and a half, I've had my downs, but the ups were way worth the downs. So either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know that it's probably not answering a majority of the questions, but it is answering a good sum of the ones that I know that I had to answer for. I will be back to be able to make more videos. I will be back to be able to do a lot more stuff. But again, all this stuff is all done just by me solely. There's only like a very tiny amount of handful of things that were done by my community, but a lot of it was basically all me. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Either way, Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all are curious about what else I'm doing, Linktree and a bunch of other stuff is down in the description below. I know again that you guys are probably gonna ask me more questions in the comments section. I will try to answer them as fast as I possibly can. That is one thing that I always try to keep track of. And if you like this video, subscribe if you enjoyed it that much. Oh, and before I forget, because I knew it was gonna come up, very deeply sorry if the shorts and like, I know on my channel it looks a little weird where you'll see a high number of videos. Yeah, no, a lot of those were just shorts that I updated from Twitch onto YouTube, so please do not be confused on that. Again, sorry if there is a lot, it's up to you all if you wanna check those out. But yeah, I just wanted to move all of my Twitch related stuff to my other platforms as well, because I felt like that was the best course of action, which, to an extent it still is. But either way, hope you all enjoyed the video regardless. This has been Epidium Guru, and I will see you all next time, and hopefully when I have more time on my hands. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all are having a good rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.